This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for player ratings. I've got James with me. Mm. Let's start with Am Ramsdale. It's going to be a controversial one for you. I, just before filming this, I turned and asked everyone whether Ramsdale was at fault, and pretty much unanimously everyone kind of said no. I, I think he should do better. Um, I understand that, I think he's quite low. He's, I think he's anticipating kind of cross shot. Benrak's just, just, was it Benrak he scored? Yeah, Benrak, yeah. Just, just thumped it. Um, <laughs> I just think when it's come towards you, mm. but I mean, I, I don't know, I've never been a goalkeeper, so I don't know, but I feel like he'll be disappointed with that one. Um, kicking was better. I thought yeah. a few times he, he did hit the players in space. I'll give him a five. Five, yep, I think that's yeah. fair. Let's go to Cedric Suarez. Hmm. I mean, I, I I appreciate shooting from a tight angle once, but a minute later doing it again, that was, yeah. yeah. Um, but otherwise, I thought, I thought he was all right. He's crossing. A lot, I heard a lot of people in the ground saying, you yeah, know, he can't cross. It's, I don't think it's that he can't cross. I just don't think there's anyone to aim to. Mm. I just think his delivery is all right. He's hitting a good space, but, you know, Who's, who's going to win it? You know, playing a back three, got three big centre backs, and even if they didn't, Nketi is not the best in the air. And same with Lacazette, mm. who didn't play, but just generally. Defensively um, as well? Did okay, recovered all right. I, I just, the annoying thing is, I don't think Southampton did that much today. It didn't. Um, you know, so five. Five as yeah, well? Yeah, okay. five. Let's go five five is, is fine. He yeah. was fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go to Ben White or Benjamin White. Yeah, I mean, one or two silly fouls towards the end there, but. I actually thought him and Gabriel were good. Um, I'll give them a seven. Uh, yeah, could they have done much for the goal? No. I thought they dealt with Brozier well. Um, I thought some of his passing was all right. Seven? Is that too kind? No. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Seven. I thought, I thought... I think seven's fair. It's we, hard when you lose and you're kind of trying to praise the defence, but I really don't think it was on them today. No. Yeah. Seven. No. Seven for one. And his pass, like you said, his pass yeah. was, was complimenting Gabriel's reverse passes a lot throughout the game. And, yeah, and Ben yeah. White's as well. So we, yeah, we, we, we'll fight to Gabriel. Seven. I thought, seven he, I thought he, it was an improvement on the last couple of games for him as well. Okay. So yeah, seven for Gabriel. Okay, the return of Nuno Tavares at left back. Yeah. Um, I'll, give, I'll give him a... Actually thought he was okay <laughs> really I thought he was fine I think he's adventurous I think he tries yeah the shooting needs to improve but he's trying to do something um, did he have a big impact bombing up and down the wing not really um, six yeah, yeah six okay. granite Xhaka for you James dreadful. yeah oh dreadful wow um, all the time. <laughs> bah. it's hard because with Xhaka I find myself kind of giving him a seven because he kind of didn't, I don't want to say he didn't do anything wrong, but just kept things ticking and moving. Um, today he did that, he did okay. He doesn't, doesn't shy away from it, does he? But he's not, he's not the guy who's going to win you the game. And he did have one effort that was good, that was saved. Um, six. six. He, did, I, he did okay. I think, I think that's fair. I think he's yeah. quite missing throughout the game, if I'm honest. Let's move on to... I kind of, I, I, don't mean, I actually mean this in a good way. It sounds like I'm slagging him off, but I kind of think if you're not talking about Xhaka after the game, yeah, he's then he's, he's done his job, which yeah. is to facilitate everything and keep things moving. I think he did that. I think 100% yeah. with that. I'm with you there, James. Let's go to his partner, Lokonga, for you today. God, these are quite high ratings. I mean, we lost our third game in a row. But again, I give him a... I was going to say a six. I was going to say a six. I, I thought, never shied away from the ball. Yeah, I understand the whole sideways backwards, but a lot of that is on what is being offered in front of you. Um, Six. I think he did okay. Um, mm. I don't know what more to add. He kept things moving. He tried. Mm. Um, yeah. I think. I think maybe just, a five. Maybe him and Jack would be five. Listen, fight out in the comments. No, I, I think. We'll what do, else? Think? I'm gonna do, do this conga. before we do that. I think, I think average average five, six. six yeah. 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 Before we do that, I was gonna give, give, give a disclaimer. Your fan yeah. cam. You did say the boys didn't play bad. It's just we didn't get the results there. You so these results aren't reflecting of just the, the results of what you saw in the performance. So. Yeah, and, and I'm not sort of happy clappy going we played all right yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know look at the positives no no it, it's more frustrating that we actually put in a performance that was probably worthy of at least a point maybe three points if we'd done the business in january so more frustration but yeah six okay. for the Congress, I think. let's move over to bukayo saka for you james came to life a little bit more in the second half but he's not really been at it the last few games um five 
Okay. Five. Yep. I think I'm probably you being a bit kind. Oh god, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Actually, that. I'll stick with a five. Yeah. I'll stick with a five. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with a five. I'll stick with a five because he had a few moments where he was cutting inside, had a good, like, had a few shots, coming a few. Moments. He gets. He. That's true about service, and he gets. The way Arteta plays the system, he wants Martinelli and Saka to score goals and chip in, but they're hugging the touchline. And there's not players overlapping. In Ketia Lacazette, they try and come short, but they don't link up too well. Yeah. So it's a real, it's a big ask on the wingers. Do, They've yeah, got a lot, a lot to, to do. do. So um, for me, a five. I thought he did okay. Okay, Martin Odegaard. Always comes looking for the ball. Okay, I've got to credit him, then discredit him. Always, I think, comes looking for it and always mm -hmm. tries to get involved. And he looks buzzy and he gives it, you know, and he's dropping a shot, where am I going to go? And he just lays it off you know, to the winger or yep. fullback or whatever. And often I'm seeing him and thinking, I can see you've got the talent. Back himself, yeah. You right. know, back, back yourself. Yeah. Because that's I wanted him. Yeah. yeah, there's no, that's true, there's no centre forward to hit. And I, and I get that, that is true. I mean, part of being able to create is having someone to create for, and I understand that. But there are times where I want to see him even if you're going to lose the ball, at least tell the opposition that you're going to, you're willing to try something else. Um, I think today he was far too predictable in his play, but again, never shies away. I'm actually going to give him a four. Yeah, and, and actually as we move throughout the forwards, the, the ratings thing are get, going to get lower. Because um, I think it was more on the forwards not doing their jobs today. So a four for Odegaard, although I acknowledge he tried. Okay, let's go to Gabriel Marcelli for you then, James. Five. Um, yeah. Probably the better of the attackers. Definitely tried um, first half. There was having some joy down the right. Yep. You know he did put it on a plate. Do you know I'm, I think I'm a bit harsh. Six actually, yeah, yeah, six because yeah. sets up Saka. Then there was that moment cutting his left foot, forced to save at Forster. Um, yeah, six actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Let's yeah. go to Eddie and Ketia, James. <laughs> um, Oh. Do you know I feel bad, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Someone says it's just a chance. I, do you know what it is with Inketia? Do, do you know what it is with Inketia, right? There was a moment where he knocked it past, I think, um, uh, Lianco and beat his man. And I'm thinking, oh well, you want to pound right? Well done, that's brilliant. But like, oh my god, like we're getting excited about. A run, <laughs> right, spring, pushing it and run, yeah, yeah. You know, foul, yeah. which is true. Like, and I listen. I respect the work ethic. Absolutely, I respect the work ethic. And he's definitely more mobile. And I definitely think he works defenders harder in terms of his mobility and moving, whatever. But didn't get enough from him. So, and he was no, he wasn't better than Saka. So, would I give Saka a four? No, no, Odegaard. I gave Odegaard a four. Probably the same, a four. Just, just below. Fine. Yeah. You know, we need a bit more up front. But, yeah. yeah, we don't want to keep going back to cr cr um, crediting players for hard work. Like that should be the minimum anyway. And but, I'll yeah. always acknowledge it. Yeah, I'll always this acknowledge it because I've been here and I've said they're not even trying. Whatever, mm. and, you know, I'll always acknowledge the work ethic. Um, and you, you've always got a chance with hard work. Mm -hmm. You've always got a chance, but you need the quality to come through, especially when you're looking at your third defeat on the bounce. Mm. So yeah, let's go cool. to Emil Smith Rowe, James. I thought, he, you know, I thought he made a good impact when he came yeah. on. I thought he did okay. I, I'll give him a seven, actually. Seven, it, yeah, had, had a few shots at goal, tried to beat a few men, tried to make things happen. Yeah, maybe I'm being quite kind, but yeah, it wasn't his fault. Okay, I thought, the, the other yeah. substitute, um, Pepe. Pepe. I'm going to weirdly give nearly seven. I'll go six. Yeah. I thought he looked bright. Mm -hmm. Maybe a seven. Yeah. Seven? Is that? Bring him on out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> seven, seven, maybe. I don't know. What's the general consensus here? I, I will go seven. I, I, thought, he, I thought he looked... Fairly dangerous. Yeah. I mean, he didn't exactly get his shots at goal, but you know he's beating men and trying direct, to make things happen. Yeah, yeah a bit more direct. Got them panicking a little yeah. bit. I thought, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go seven for okay. Pepe. Yeah. Okay. Let's go yeah. um, before we go to the manager. Let's go to the uh, officials today. The referee for you. Did they make Peter two Banks. subs? Is only Smith throwing Pepe? Yeah. He didn't use three. Wow. Fair enough. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got five next season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's true. Um, um, who do we say? Sorry, ref. The ref, Peter Banks today. Yeah, I Best thought he did all right. Yeah, yeah, seven. Because I thought there were a couple of challenges that, from the angle we had, which wasn't the best, but I thought, ooh, that could have looked nasty. Yeah. But he tend to let the game go on and give players benefit of the doubt. And I want to see the game refereed in that way. So, seven. 
Okay, seven. All right, now let's go over to the manager, Mikel Arteta, Ooh. for you today. Um, we've not said anything about him in my fan camp. Yeah. I think I'd say is, you know, <laughs> people were on him last week, and it's, they put it down to him and his fault. Right. So this week, we've lost these three games in very different ways. Palace, the players were not at it. The ball was bouncing off them. They couldn't get in their rhythm. Palace was superb, just a disaster. Brighton. We lost it tactically. What Arteta tried to do with the team completely cost us our rhythm and our shape and our balance. Today, I actually thought this was one of those tear your hair out games where actually, if we'd won the last two and we were looking at this game in isolation, we're probably saying, actually, we played well enough to win it. Um, but we didn't. And there's still an element of boringness to our football sometimes. When we do go a goal down, we're chasing it, where it is a bit slow, laborious, and you suddenly find you've got three players out on the wing and three players out on the other wing and one central midfielder trying to make it happen. And you're thinking, get players near the box, get players in there, ask different questions. From Arteta's perspective, um, we lost the game because of him and his decisions in January, not because of necessarily this what he did today. Sweet, yeah. And that's where it's kind of a bit harsh on him. For today alone, I mean, we lost, so four, like five, four, but four, four yeah. You can't, I guess you can't give him a five if we lost at Southampton, yeah. um, even a three yeah. maybe. But, but my point is, I think the team kind of did enough and he did what he could off the touchline. It was January where his decisions cost us, yeah. I think, in my opinion. That's him and Edu, but mainly him. So. Don't know, maybe maybe I'm being kind. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe okay. maybe I'm being kind. Let's uh, let's finish up then with the fans for you today, James. Yeah, fans. Noisy, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Noisy. Yeah, oh, we were singing, very, yeah, very quiet noisy. Quiet noisy quiet singing. You know, I I I'm very aware when I say this that you know you hear the Arsenal fans, but you also hear Southampton fans or whatever. And I wonder whether as the game went on, you could feel the fans deflate a little bit. I don't blame them, yeah. by the way, because yeah, 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 they've been amazing yeah. all season, but. Maybe I'm reflecting on myself. I definitely felt like I was, 100%. like almost because when you get to that last 10 minutes, you're thinking, if we get a goal, don't get me wrong, every point helps, but we had to win you this. It, no, and you didn't sense it, absolutely. Um, so the fans stuck with them throughout, absolutely. Clap them at the end, singing the songs, but um, I think we were feeling it with the players a bit today. So um, I'll always, you know, um, eight, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, that's it the for the player the ratings. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to AFTV channel and we'll see you in our next fixture, Chelsea on Wednesday. Peace. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.